Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have the Cavalier Odin, and we're gonna solo this guy with our four star Dr. Voodoo. And at first, Odin is a little bit complicated because of all those buffs and nodes that he has, but he's not too bad. So let's talk about his nodes. The first node is Divine Barrier 3. So while we are using a Mystic Attacker, and this time we are, there's a timer that appears every 10 seconds and you can see right here it's about to expire, it expired and basically it prevents him from being nullified, fate sealed or staggered. So you can't nullify him at all when he has that active. And this timer's duration is paused for 2 seconds each time the attacker nullifies the boss. So yeah, it's not too bad, you just have to be careful a little bit. With Dr. Voodoo actually, you have to use your SP1 when the timer is not up because you will not turn his buffs to poisons. And yeah, it's, you gotta be careful about that. But then he has another node called Supercharge. So every 15 seconds, he will gain a power gain buff and grants him 20% of his max power. So yeah, it's, it's a lot. Then he has Feet of Indestructible 2. Whenever we reach 2 bars of power, he becomes indestructible for 5 seconds. So yeah, you don't really want to go to your SP2. But I am using SP2 and SP3 just because I saw my health drop from the block damage and all of that. But yeah, it's just 5 seconds, you can wait it out. And then we have 2 nodes. Now you see me too, so every 8 seconds the attacker is inflicted with a falter debuff for 3 seconds. So if you don't hit him within 8 seconds, as you can see the timer on us, the great timer, if we don't hit him within 8 seconds we're gonna get faltered for 3 seconds and you just have to wait that out as well. And then the last note, steady pers perseverance 2. So when the attacker, the defender, activates a special attack, they become stun immune for 6 seconds and plus 2 seconds for each of the defender's unique buffs. So that is a little bit annoying because this guy has a lot of unique buffs and yeah, it's like 8 second stun immunity. And his specials are a little bit tricky to go after, but you will see in this video that after his SP1, I usually throw a light attack just to get closer to him and then evade last hit so that I can go in. So yeah, if you try to avoid it, be far away from him, you won't be able to like counter attack. So we did it right there and I think we bait an SP2, so not now but before and you can go in after but it's a little bit like tricky you have to evade it like early so that you can go in and hopefully he doesn't like retaliate fa faster but he's at 11% we use that sp3 dr voodoo is pretty good because he gains Odin gains so much buffs and we turn it to poison but yeah this guy is not too bad one five hit, one more five hit combo after this. Throw the SP1, and this guy is dead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.